earlier on in this quick video i'm going to be showing you how to reduce the laptop cpu temp if you can't underboot if you have um the 12th gen intel cpu the 11th gen intel cpu the newer ones that won't let you to undervote so i'm going to show you how to reduce um your temperature of your cpu if you are happy with getting lower fps you can simply just disable your turbo boost and um, you get lower fps and lower temperature but what if you don't want to get lower performance while gaming um, for example, I have Intel Core i7 9th gen. The base speed is 2.6 GHz. If I disable Intel Turbo Boost, what I'm going to be maxing out is 2.6 GHz. This is this is maybe this would be a bad idea for games that need more processing power. So you're not going to get past 2.6 GHz. This will decrease your FPS and also decrease your temperature very well. So in this video, I'm going to show you the sweet spot, how to get both of them. You return your FPS, but your temp will be lower. So what you're going to do is to download Throttle Stop. Once you download Throttle Stop, you go to this button here, FIVR, click on it. So as you can see here, we don't have any undervolt applied. So what you're going to do is for example, my CPU have six cores. The first one is clocked at 4.5 GHz. Second core is 4.4 GHz. Third core is 4.3. The fourth core is 4.2. Fifth, 4.1. And the sixth core is 4.0. So, what we are going to do now is to cap some, reduce the, clock, the core clocks. So, um, you're going to reduce, you're going to leave the first one at 4.5. Your, your numbers might be different, different CPU have different clock speed. If you have maybe 5.0 gigahertz, you turn it down to 4.0. If you have 3.5 gigahertz, you turn it down to 3.0. This is much better than turning off to go boost because this is not going to impact your FPS much. So now I have 4.5 GHz for the first core because first core is very very important. The other cores 3.5 GHz. This is what I do. And this helps very well to reduce your, your temperature. When you're done with it, you click on apply and okay. So Make sure throttle stop is running in the background for it, for it to work. I have a video on how to make throttle stop, throttle stop boot with Windows. So that's all for this video. See you guys in the next one. Peace.